damn weird. The ride. Also known as the Mermaid of New, New Ireland, a northeastern province of Papua New Guinea, the Rye is an ugly stepsister to its fanciful image of the creature popularized in such Hollywood films such as Splash and the Little Mermaid. A local fisherman claims to have buried a Rye skeleton somewhere on New Ireland. The Rye is said to be an air-breathing mammal with a head and arms and upper torso and an human, although it is sometimes referred rumored to have the head of a sea lion, combined with the lower body of a large fish, complete with lateral fins. It is recognized by the International Society of Cryptozoology after fishermen reported several encounters with the mermaids in the waters around New Ireland in early 1980s. From August 1973 to December 1974, Gary Oppett dwelt amongst the living wonders of the world's largest tropical island. New Guinea studying the flora and fauna with biologists at the Wau Ecology Center and living with the Stone Age tribal people. On the 3rd of October, around midday, Gary Oppett observed directly in front of the bow of a round brown head of a sea surface that looked more human than anything else. At the approach of the vessel, the head suddenly submerged straight down beneath the water as if it had pulled under using its flippers and tail. Gary standing near the bow, and as they passed over the animal, he obtained a clear view as it sank vertically through the clear, crystal clear water two or three meters below the surface. He saw a round head and an elongated human-sized body. And he wondered if he may have been looking at a dugong. The body was slim, unlike the bulky shape of the dugong. Dugongs raised their broad snout and head just above the surface of the water where the two nostrils inhale air and then they propel themselves forward and dived head first. The marine animal descended tail first and as I was unable to conclude as to what the animal was. Taking an elderly New Guinean native from a coastal village near Adtape, on their knowledge of the local fauna, they described a marine mammal that he had only once encountered. He and a friend were fishing off the coast in their dugouts, canoes, pulling up their nets, and they brought to the surface an unfamiliar animal, somewhat like a dugong, but different, which they then released. He told me that it was not a dugong because they regularly caught and ate dugongs, and that this was quite different from the animal altogether. Eventually, Gary found that in Papua New Guinea, native language of pidgin English, this marine mammal is also known as a fish mary meaning fish mary or fish woman mary being used for the word woman in volume one of the zoology the interdisciplinary journal of the international society of cryptozoology 1982 there's a paper written by roy wagner head of the department of anthropology university of virginia entitled the rye unidentified aquatic animal of new ireland papua new guinea Wagner was studying the culture of the local people from 1979 to 1980 when he discovered that they were all aware of a scientifically unidentified marine mammal. People in Barak use the name pronounced as Ari, as two words, for this animal. People in Sasarunga use the name Ilke. These island fishermen were aware of the other mammals and stated that the rye or Hill K, was quite different from the dolphins, porpoises, pilot whales, and dugongs. Later known to Bo Nazari in Barak, meaning pig of the ocean, because of its fat body, rounded whisker face, and vegetarian eating habits. From accounts of local people, Roy Wagner found that the New Guinea mermaid distributed 
around the waters of the Bismarck Sea. The Solomon Sea and the Pacific off the shores of the Bismarck and Solomon Archipelagos. They are particularly distributed around the center and southern shores of New Ireland and the strait between the island of Buca and Bougainville in the northern Solomon. The Re also exists further west around the Manus Islands and off the north coast of New Guinea where fishermen have caught them in nets at Atep. Roy Wagner found that the Re or Ilke were well known to them long before the arrival of Europeans. And that like all species of animals that coexisted with them, they hold a special place in their culture and they have cultural stories that expand and explain their creation. The village magistrate once told Wagner that whilst fishing out at sea, he observed a re rise to the surface, look at him, and for only about six meters away, he claimed he also once observed a male and female re mating at the surf. The 10 year old boy described to Wagner Oh, he had once observed a line of male, female, and juvenile reefs swimming up to a freshwater stream by moonlight. Furthermore, there was a common sport for schoolboys during the December to January vacations to dive offshore with glass face masks to catch glimpses of reef. Wagner found the people living in the islands of Lahir and Sierra occasionally killed reef for food, and he interviewed many men who had witnessed the butchering of the animals that had eaten and then have eaten of their flesh. They commented that Ree have a great deal of blood, like a human being, and their body fat is yellow. When Wagner asked whether there were vestigial leg bones in the lower extremities of the body, they replied that the skeletal structure of the tail consisted only of an elongated spine. In Volume 2 of Cryptozoology, 1983, there is a field report entitled Further Investigation into the Bio Biological and Cultural Affinities of the Ree by Roy Wagner. J. Richard Greenwale. Gail J. Raymond and Kurt von Nieder, which describes a scientific expedition between mid-June and mid-July in 1983, which led by Wagner back to New Ireland to determine whether the reef really was an unclassified marine mammal. They returned to Nama Tanoi to obtain further information on the reef that had been butchered and eaten and located a Western trained medical orderly who had witnessed the event and stated emphatically that the animal was not a dugong. Villagers talked of the re entering the rivers at night from the sea to fish in very shallow waters. After exploring Ramat Bay without success, the team were informed that the re were being sighted mostly daily at the village of Nokon, 50 miles to the south. The Sasarungo people at Nokon used the name okay to describe the same animal and described it as having the eyes set in the front of the head. The mouth was described as protruding and peculiar. At dawn on the 5th of July 1983, team could view the okay as it apparently hunted fish in the shallow waters 100 feet from the shore. For 20 minutes it swam rapidly breaking the surface with its back which was light brown and showed no dorsal fin. The fish was observed to jump from the water to avoid capture, and it was next observed repeatedly diving in deeper water 300 to 400 feet from the shore, and appeared dark and slender. It surfaced every 10 minutes with a sharp roll, indicating extreme vertical flexure. The team approached within 50 feet of the LK and observed that at times it kept its tail flukes above the surface of the water and photos were taken before it submerged without reappearing. All the marine mammal mammalogists consulted after the team returned home agreed that the animal was new to science. The zoologists concluded that the animal's rapid movements consisted of extended durations of submergence. Its consistency, extreme vertical flexure, and its predatory behavior eliminates the possibility that it was a dugong or a sea cow, nor was a species of finless dolphins as Wagner had thought in 1983. New Ireland locals Wesley Lyon Aggie recently took photographs of a marine mammal that he could not identify and posted them on Facebook page and wrote, this is the rare and unidentified mammal that which became a friend to a small boy on the second pick just at the end of the tail. This small boy introduces friend mammal 
to his families. Can anyone really identify to me the scientific name for this mammal? This was then shared and posted in an Australian Mammal Identification Facebook site by Vicky Nareen. Vicky Nareen wrote, the animal was, was encountered and photographed by local people in New Ireland around the Tabor Islands. Could these be the first photographs ever taken of Wagner's Re or the OK? The Pish Mary or the New Guinea Mermaid, whatever you want to call it. It is natural to assume that this is just the dugong or but there are some interesting angles to consider. Exploring much of New Ireland in 1974 and all of the tribal people are inhabitants to the coastline are reliant on seafood for much of their diet. An uninhabited mountainous interior covered in forest runs through the center of the island with unique species such as enormous blue bull bird wing butterflies, one of the world's largest species of long tailed Durango bird. The people are expert fishermen and know the sea creatures, so it seems strange that they cannot identify species such as the dugong. The photos of the dugong in the postings are those that I took of two captives of the Sydney Aquarium, some of only captive dugongs in the world. It is worth making a comparison to the dugong's head in the body compared to the mystery of the marine animal's head and body. The dugong's head forms part of the streamlined body and no neck. The white snout and the dugong is the same width as the head. The mystery mammal, the head and body are separated by a neck and the snout narrower and smaller than the head. The mystery marine mammal is a narrow body near the tail and a raised backbone unlike the dugong where the backbone is hidden by a thick streamlined body and remains quite thick until it reaches the tail flukes. Some people have wondered if it is a manatee. However, manatees live only in the Atlantic Ocean while dugongs live in the southwestern Pacific Ocean and the northern Indian Ocean as well. Thank you.